Western coast. Duncan Kennedy has sent this report. There's nothing on earth like it. A collection of reefs and coral the size of Japan. A world heritage site for the past three decades. But the ports along the Great Barrier Reef are being modernised for the country's booming mining exports. And now the United Nations has come to see if the reef is being sacrificed for profit. It, it could be a case of a death by a thousand cuts of these impacts on the values of the Great Barrier Reef World Heritage Area. These types of massive industrial developments, and they literally are monsters, you, you know, you can see them from space. They'd involve tens of millions of cubic meters of dredging. They're going to cut across those critical habitats. They're going to cut into those critical nursery grounds. And it could spell, you know, it literally could spell the end for many of these much-loved creatures um, and put at risk those very values for which the World Heritage Area is one of our global icons. But those building and using the port say they're not a threat, including at the main site in Gladstone. The working harbour itself in Gladstone, this is somewhere that has a coal loader, that has an aluminium smelter, and this is the other side of a busy industrial port. The mining industries and the government of Queensland say they're developing the ports in a responsible way and are creating thousands of jobs. As elsewhere in Australia and indeed the rest of the world, this is all about a balancing act between getting the benefits of the mining industry and protecting the environment. It's bad. Fishermen already say that dredging is contaminating fish. The authorities deny it. The UN's team final report could embarrass the Australian government unless its concerns about this aquatic masterpiece are settled. Duncan Kennedy, BBC News, in Sydney.